Question 17, May, June 2010, paper 2, variant 1, um, angles and circles question. AB is the diameter of a circle, center O. C and D and E lie on the circle. There we are. C and D and E lie on the circle. Okay. Use that color. C, D, E, and line, line the circle. We have um, A, B is the diameter of the circle. Okay. And it tells us that E, C is parallel to A, B and perpendicular to O, D. So all of those things are shown on the diagram. Okay. All of those things are shown on the diagram. We've got to calculate the angle B, O, C. Now B, O, C is this angle over here. Now, we know that these two lines are parallel, right? This pair of lines are parallel. AB is parallel to EC. So, that means this is a transversal which cuts two parallel lines, right? So, that means this must be here a right angle because these are like alternate angles. This is it. So, this angle and this angle must be the same. So, the angle we want here, angle BOC, Okay, angle BOC is going to be 90 minus 38. Now, my 90 minus 38 is going to be um, 42. No, 42, 52. 52. Yeah? So that's 52 degrees, right? So that's part A. Part B tells us to work out angle CBO. So I'll write it here CBO, angle C. B, O. Okay, now C, D, O is the angle over here. Now, what, one thing you should always know when you've got angles and circles is that the radii are all the same in the same circle. So the line from O to B and from O to C and from O to D and from O to A are all the same length. Right? So that makes this triangle here, we already found this is 52. That makes this triangle here an isosceles triangle. These two angles must be the same. If that's the case, then CBO, CBO, which is this angle here, okay, and call it angle Y for here. We know that this is also angle Y. They're both the same angle. So we can say that 2Y plus 52 degrees is equal to 180. The sum of angles in the triangle is 180. So 2Y is equal to 180 minus 52, so y is equal to 180 minus 52 divided by 2. So 180 minus 52 is 138, 128, sorry. Yeah, no, um, no, it's 138, yes, 128, sorry, divided by 2, that gives you 64 degrees. 64 degrees, so that's the angle that we need here, which is angle Y. So BOC, this is 52 degrees, and this is now 64 degrees, and finally, they're asking us to find the angle EDO, EDO. Okay, now angle EDO is the angle over here. Now, this angle can be found in a few different ways. Now, what most people, or some people, mistake is they say, oh, this angle and this angle are the same. But they're not, because they're not standing on the same arc. This is not an arc. Yes? An arc is two points on the circumference. So, what we can do is, we could say that if this is 90 degrees, and this is, you know, the way, this must be 90 degrees as well. Right? Straight line. Out of, out of 180. Alright? And what I can say is that this angle over here stands on D and C. D, E, C. Okay, stands on D and C. And so does the angle 38 stand on D, C. However, the angle D, O, C is on the center, at the center of the circumference, whereas this is at the circumference of the circle. The one at the center is twice the one at the circumference. So this angle here must be 38 divided by 2. 
Now, 38 divided by 2 is 19. So this is 19 degrees, right? So the angle that we're looking for, EBO, is part of this right angle triangle, okay? So we can say that's going to be equal to 180 minus 90 plus 18, okay? It's the same as 90 minus 18, which is going to be, what's 90 minus 18? 72. Okay, so the answer there is 72 degrees for angle EDO, and that concludes this question. You got it? Okay.